Hey everyone, wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom Um Vorach. This week's parasha has in it the last of the 613 commandments, and that is that now you are to write for yourselves a Sefer Torah. Every one of us has to have our own personal Sefer Torah. And I think that's a beautiful message that not only are we to have a Sefer Torah, but every one of us is like a Sefer Torah. Every one of us uh, is like a, a holy Torah. And allow me to explain with a beautiful halakha. Imagine you open up a beautiful Torah and it's filled with whole everything in it, except it's missing one letter. One letter is missing. What's the law? What is the law with this? What is the status of this holy Sefer Torah? The answer is it's pasul. It's invalid. Cannot use it. Even missing one letter. Doesn't matter if it's a big letter. Doesn't matter if it's a small letter. Doesn't matter where in the Torah, if it's an important word, or not important word, it's irrelevant. The whole Torah is important. And if one letter is missing, the whole Torah needs to be put back and it has to be fixed. It's not usable. What a powerful message that every one of us, like a letter, is, like, uh, is important. Every one of us, like a letter, if the letter is missing, if we are missing, if we are MIA, if we don't step up, if we don't use the God-given talents that we have to be able to make the Torah, the world, a better place, then the world will be missing the Jewish people will be missing. There is something that Hashem gave every single one of us that we can use, that we must use. And we have to ask ourselves, what is that? What did Hashem give me? What am I good at? What's unique? What are my strengths? What are my virtues? What am I able to contribute to this world? What's my letter? You know, there's an amazing story of this public school boy that he, um, that he was, you know, a Jewish boy. He was in public school. And one day, his friend invites him to a class that he was hosting in his house, a Torah class. So naturally he said, no, you know, he's not into Torah. And then his friend said, but you know what? There's going to be pizza. Why don't you come for the pizza? So he said, all right, you know what? This pizza, I'll come. And sure enough, he comes for the pizza and he listened to the class. He had no choice and he loved it. And he decided he wants to come the next week, of course, just for the pizza, right? And he came the next week and the third week and eventually he started becoming a regular at the class. And then he started writing these classes down. And then eventually he decided, you know what, instead of me just you know, writing them, why don't I record them? So he brought a tape recorder, he put it on the table, and he started recording these classes. And he started giving them out to people that he thought may enjoy them. And then he said, you know what, instead of me just recording the audio, why don't I also record a video so that people could also not only listen, but watch these classes. And he did, and he did this and he started recording them. And eventually he, he you know, piled up all of these videos and then he t- decided to create a website. You may have heard of it. It's called TorahAnytime.com. Isn't that amazing? TorahAnytime.com. You for sure heard of it, watched a video on it. Today, there are millions of hours of Torah being learned because of this one website, because of one public school kid who had an idea, right? The Kol Yaakov brothers. And they created this amazing website that has done so much good throughout the world because they, they said, you know, we are a letter. And it doesn't matter if we're big or small, but we have to step up. Remember, my friends, that the day you were born was the day that God decided the world needs you. Shabbat Shalom.